All over campus, students pass flyers promising great opportunities. Some are legit and others not so much. Here's one for the Doghouse Grill, a local restaurant. Here's one for Page 128, an online company I'd never heard of. If you come across the company you never heard of, Rita Bakanfuso Cohen from Career Services says you should check it out online. If something seems a little bit off, does that company have a website? Um, what does that website look like? Is there anything out there as far as reviews? On the website for Career Services, there is a place at the bottom where you can get tips for the smart job seeker. Things like if they want you to pay large sums of money but no experience is necessary, or if they're asking you to send money or want to charge you to give you a job lead, watch out. If the email address is something like Yahoo or Google, that could be a red flag. Back now to page 128. I went to their website. On their homepage, it says that there's a $25 starting bonus and that it's paid in the first check. Even I'm interested. I click on for more information and I am immediately taken to a page that asks for credit card information. They want to charge me a one-time fee to set up an account. But don't forget, they did say that there's a $25 starting bonus. It pays for itself. Back in Fuso Cohen says that this is a common scam. Tell you, we've had students that have lost money um, because of job search scams, and, and, it, and it breaks my heart. Um, it's very hard to get you. You're not, it, you're not likely to get your money back because scammers know what they're doing. If you are looking for work, there are places on campus that might better suit you. And you can go to work and go to class all in one place and then of course like if you get off work and you have two hours till you go to class you can get your homework done especially like in the library perfect if a student does find that they have been a victim of a scam there are things that they can do well if they've given money and they've done it through a credit card they can stop payment on the credit card if they've provided background information on themselves to a company giving them personal information they can uh, check their credit reports immediately put fraud alerts on them but students shouldn't stop there. They should go to the Better Business Bureau website and report the scam. This will help other job seekers in the future. John Dix, Fresno State Focus.